welcome to uh, this edition of the Free Game Spotlight, and today we'll be uh, looking at Epsilon Strain, a uh, game by MaxGames.com, and Widutek, um, I'll put a link in the description of where you can play this. Um, it's a decent little uh, zombie game, as everyone knows, I love zombie games, I love them. <laughs> um, this one's unique. Um, it's very non-existent with the story. Very non-existent. There is no story. Um, basically, it's just you're a Marine. You get paid to go into several areas and clean them out of zombies. As you progress into the higher numbered areas, such as Site 5, you get harder zombies. In, site, in Sites 1 and 2, you get uh, blue zombies, real weak, do little damage. As you progress higher, you get gray zombies, a little bit stronger, a little bit faster. Uh, you also get higher zombies, which shoot balls of blue lightning at you. Which can decimate you within a few hits, if you're not careful. Uh, but this game, is it's when it lacks some story and substance, it more makes up for, for a quick time when you just want to slay a bunch of zombies. Um, anyway, uh, you can navigate with the map screen by picking, uh, where, what site you want to go. Site number doesn't really matter. Basically, the number just tells you the difficulty. Uh, five most difficult so far. One, real easy. Those are the tutorials. Um, there's your stats, performance, score, credits, uh, collected and spent, missions cleared in total. I've missed one. I died by accident. <laughs> you also get awards for uh, doing certain things. I haven't gotten any yet. <laughs> uh, gives you your enemy skill. Also gives you an accuracy, which I think is funny when you're actually 130, uh, 136%. That means I must be killing them before I'm even pulling the gun out the holster or something. <laughs> um, items scavenged 43, items sold 17. Um, you have a lot of equipment to choose from. But it's different. You don't equip weapons as normal things. You actually can. You actually have a typical blaster that can be modified. You have uh, a weapon pack, which is basically a uh, clip size. It basically uh, tells you how much energy it holds. And uh, that energy is used to spend you know, whatever uh, weapon chip you put into it. And you have different varieties. You have standard chips, which do basically uh, regular stuff, depending on their type. But you can also modify chips. Oh, excuse me. To uh, make them better. Like this one, I have a Photon 1, a modified with a Strike Photon 1. Photon 1 is basically a heavy uh, blaster. So, but powerful. And it's got good range. And it also has piercing in this one's case. Um, I modify it with strike. Basically, I've turned it into a modified sci-fi 44 Magnum. If I can get a Photon 3, I can make a 475 Wilder, and I'll give a cookie, give an internet cookie to anyone who knows where that reference is from. 475 Wilder. <laughs> um, but that's the fun part. You can actually modify your chips any way you want. I have other mods. I have a F photon, basically a shotgun. I have a pulse that basically makes it in a machine pistol, and I have a, a pulse on modified scatter pulse, basically makes it a, a spread shotgun. I also have lots of uh, chips that I can, or mods I can put into the chips to make them uh, better. You also have armor. Armor energy is uh, basically how much your armor can take and how much health you have and you also have this which gives you a light radius not just it helps your defense but also helps you where you can see where the enemies are which is good because this enemy, this, this game is quite dark um, you also have a shop where you can buy and sell items let me go ahead and let's show off the do I happen to have any armor energy? Ooh. Let me see. Do I happen to... No, I guess I'll buy that one. Yes. Uh, 
All right, let's go to equip and let's go ahead and drop that one and get that. Whoops, need that. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and show off the uh, stuff. All right, you have to de-equip your current weapon. All right, see, so Pulse Four. Basically, it's a. Uh, let me see. I guess you could equate it to a nine millimeter standard handgun, but it's it's better than a a a, a, a thirty-eight special or a twenty-two, or if you're really small, an eleven. <laughs> And, uh, you can actually modify it with certain chips. Now, you can only use ones that are glowing. So, you want to be, you know, you can't just go and go this or here. It won't work. And when you click one, it'll ask if you want to add it to it. Now, mods cannot be reversed. So, if you happen to like a particular weapon setup, don't go click on another mod for it, because if you override it, you can't get it back. Let's see. Let's see, now they both, they all have like their own thing here. You know what, it doesn't matter anyway, they're all the same. So let's go ahead and modify that. And now we have a Pulse 4 modified with F Pulse 2, which makes it pretty much better. Let's go ahead and sell that. Sell a bunch of this crap here, because you basically find tons of this mess. Yeah, that work. Um, anything I need? Nope. Excellent. Let's go ahead and show you off one of the weak areas and show off my new gun, shall we? Now the controls, besides the mouse using, besides the mouse look, and the uh, cursor for fire, the wasad is your uh, movement. Now when you approach a door, you have to hit the space button. And all right, come back here, come back here. There we go. There we go. Oops. And then we collect these items. So you'll come up. You'll know you're next to the door and able to go through it when it opens. You just hit space bar, and then annihilate. And then you rinse and repeat. When you finish a mission, you hit T. And it tells you what you've uh, earned. And sends you back. Now, the one gripe I do have, my... Let's go into a level 3 area. The one gripe I do have with this game is the very, you know, let's go this way, the very limited music and sound. It's, the sound is great. The, you know, it, the sounds are perfect for the weapons. Let's see. Oops. They just die pretty much easily. Oh, there's those stronger ones. The only, the main problem is very, very little music. In fact, I don't know if you can hear it. I'll try and turn it up in options later when editing. But uh, this song is the only song that ever plays. Ever. So the sound does get a, a big minus, but all in all, this is a pretty good uh, game. Definitely one I'd recommend to people who like horror games, and you just want a quick little couple of minutes to kill some time. It saves your uh, progress so that. You don't really lose anything. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a great game. I, I, I recommend it. Um, anyway, uh, I think that's all I can pretty much talk about it. Um, until the next Spotlight Shines, have some free fun. This is Big Fatty Plus. Sayonara.